everybody, it's Anna and this is my latest video from Anna's Latest. So in today's video I've decided that I'm going to do my favourite beauty products of 2017. So if you'd like to see what them products are then keep watching. And if you haven't seen my face before then please subscribe down below. And if you want put on the wee notification bell and it'll tell you when I post because there's no specific day spa specific. Uh, by day that I post so um, you'll just know whenever I post so I am trying to post like three times a week that's six three times a week so yeah so I'm gonna be doing like a giveaway I think so stay tuned for that and we will see if it goes ahead so keep watching okay so these are my like makeup faves of 2017 so we're gonna start in like no specific order because I don't know like which is my fifth. Oh, we need to close these. That's so untidy. First of all, I am gonna start off with my Fit Me. This isn't gonna focus. This Fit Me, um, one, it's normal to oily skin. I'm obsessed with this. And I actually have it on today and I forgot how like light it is. It's so like natural. It's good for when like your skin is bad because then I don't feel like it's clogging up the pores as much. Rimmel brow gels. Like these are definitely my favourite. They're both the same but they've like new and improved packaging. So I don't know if that's working. But just brow this way. Clear brow gels. And I definitely use this in my everyday makeup. Just like even if I'm wearing no makeup, I'll just brow gel my brows. I don't know if this side like, keeps going dead bright and then really dark. I'm really sorry, I don't know what is up with my phone. Sephora Beauty Amplifier. Like, I'm definitely obsessed with this. I spray this on my face all the time. So it's just this Sephora Beauty Amplifier. It's just like a setting spray, I think. Set and refresh spray. And I just put it on my face. And I don't necessarily, like, see a difference in my makeup lasting longer or anything. But it definitely doesn't feel as thick or as heavy on my skin. So... We all love that. Next is definitely my True Match Highlight. This is Liquid Glow Illuminator Prime Blend and Highlight Illuminator Glow. Well, it's just this one. It's the pink one. And I really do love this. I, this is in Icy Glow. Slash Rose Glaze Glow. So this is definitely my favourite highlight of like any highlights. I love putting this on before my makeup. Even I used to put it on after my makeup until I remember until I figured out it's actually like a primer. It works best under your makeup. You know? An oldie but goodie. Oh my god, look at that. Shine. And it's just a sleek highlighting palette. And this is definitely like a fave of mine. Like wait there. That is my highlight. See my nose? My eyes, yeah, that's that. That is this highlight. So I, I actually really love this highlight, and I only really use this shade, like on my cheeks. This one, if like depends what I am going for, I never use this one. It literally has like one line through. It, obviously, when I was swatching it, and then this one I use always in between my eyes, so it's really bright, and I love it, love it, love it. So this is just the Hula bronzer, and I'm obsessed with this, and like I really need another one. But, oh my god, this is definitely, like, my favourite. I've also tried, like, I'm just gonna go in. This is also, like, a beach please, and it's, like, from Miss Lynn. And I tried to get, like, a, like, not, like, a dupe, but, like, some a cheaper version. This is literally a fibre on Beauty Bay, but it definitely doesn't work as good as Huda Beauty. It's not Huda Beauty. As Hula Bronzer, so I would definitely just go the extra mile. I got like three shades of that, which would have been the equal to just the thing I wanted. But it's also good to try new products that you might just really love and save yourself some money. And this is like not a makeup product, but it's like can do with your makeup. And this is just the Carmex Moisturising Lip Balm. I'm definitely obsessed with this in 2017. My lips are always fresh when I have this on. So, so this here is my... Estee Lauder, um, Envy, no it's actually Intense Nude 130, I got that wrong in a different video as well. And this is just this shade, and I'm just going to swatch it, so you know. It's like this colour, Obsessed, I don't have it on at the minute which is quite sad, but it's definitely like 
massive fave lipstick of mine it's so creamy i had the lip liner to go with it but if you know your sister sees something in your room and she wants that she's gonna take it so my sister took my lip pencil so that's the problem this is definitely like i know i said i wasn't doing anything in order but this is definitely my fave 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 makeup product of 2017 look at the colors in that palette can you see that this palette i've actually not used a lot of the colors in this palette but i've definitely used like all of these i haven't used that color i don't think i've used, i think i have used blessed but black truffle have never used it like there's not a, even a swatch i didn't even swatch that color and this is this or i haven't touched suede I'm gonna do a makeup look where I use them colours actually. Comment down below if you'd like me to see me test night the colours I don't use in this palette. But this is definitely definitely my favourite favourite makeup product palette. Anything, definitely my fave. And I definitely would recommend this to anybody who's like not that good at eyeshadow, only because I'm not that good at eyeshadow, but this product like they all mix so easily, like they blend out really nice, like you actually can't go wrong, like even if I'm doing somebody else's makeup, like my sister's makeup, I'll do it and like she'll be like, oh my god, my makeup's really nice. It's only because of this palette, like it's no, you don't really need to know about eyeshadow to put use that palette and I just think it's unbelievable. Okay, so that is it for this video. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. And I want to just say thank you so much if you got this far in the video. So please don't forget to follow all my social media accounts, which are all down below. And to like this video if you really liked it. And also comment down below if I should do a giveaway. And if comment if you would like to be in the giveaway, actually. And comment something I can post next week. So... Let's get on it. Come on, Jamona. Okay, so bye.